Niger's defense ministry has confirmed that suspected Islamist militants killed 71 soldiers near the border with Mali. A nighttime ambush on a military camp in Inates in the southwest also wounded 12 soldiers and left several more missing. The so-called Islamic State has long been active in the area. And DW reporter Tommy Oladipo has been looking into this story for us. He's with us here in studio. Hi, Tommy. What more can you tell us about this attack? Well, uh, it's reported from the Defence Ministry that they say hundreds of attackers uh, came to this camp uh, that was on Tuesday. Um, uh, hundreds of them came with uh, gunfire, with mortars, shells, even suicide car bombs and stormed the camp. Uh, and the fighting went on for about three hours uh, before the Defence Ministry says uh, the attackers then fled across the nearby border to Mali. So this is, this is believed to be the largest or the deadliest attack so far on Nigeria. Troops. We mentioned that the so-called Islamic State is present in this area. Are they behind this attack? Well, we don't know yet. We'll find out soon. This is the kind of attack, especially one of this size, that jihadi groups tend to, to treasure. Uh, and we'll hear something from them, you know, soon, whether in form of a statement or even sometimes in form of a, a recording. They tend to record these attacks. Uh, but the Islamic State has this growing presence in the Sahel, not just in Niger. Uh, and when people look at, for example, Syria and Iraq and they assume, you know, because the Islamic State has had a decline there, then it's over. Uh, that's not the case in the Sahel. This is a, a difficult place to govern and it's, it's uh, a place where they will feel like they can grow, uh, they can breed and they can attack uh, targets in that region. So we're talking about a, a serious security risk for the Sahel region. Uh, can these nations cope? These are poor nations in the Sahel. They're, they're vast as well. They're you know, vast territory, difficult to govern, uh, and they've been looking uh, to the outside world for help because they've been struggling. So we've seen countries like France and the U.S. send thousands of troops into the region to try and help. Uh, France in particular uh, has led the way. Uh, it even lost a few, tr uh, 13 troops um, recently in a helicopter uh, collision. Uh, France then called a summit with some of these nations, these Sahel nations, and said, let's uh, find a new way forward. But actually, as a result of this latest attack, France has cancelled uh, that. So it's not just these poor nations that are struggling to deal with the threat, but even the bigger nations, France and the US, are, as well, are struggling. What can France and also Europe, Germany in this case, do to help? Well, France and the France in particular has been pressuring the rest of the world, countries like Germany, and saying, you need to do more. This is not just a local problem. They're saying it's a global problem, and they want the international community to get more involved. But at the moment, there's so much confusion, so many interventions. Uh, there isn't a sort of global cohesive thought as to how to get uh, the security situation in the Sahel sorted. And that uh, is, I think, the sticking point at the moment. All right. DW reporter Tommy Oladipa bringing us this story. Thank you so much for joining us here in studio. Okay.